It's a Saturday afternoon in the suburbs for this round 10 MPL 1 clash between Avondale Heights and Box Hill United. The first placed Avondale Heights can make it 8 wins in a row with a result here, while Box Hill United needs a win to keep themselves in the mix for promotion. Teo Pelizzeri will be a commentator on this overcast afternoon of Doyle Street Reserve. So it's a throw in for the Heights, long into the area, headed down, now volleyed back and across the face of goal from Principato. It was only a half chance. Kokolakis, now Kenny Athew, turning in board, slides through a pass, here's Irwin, goes round the keeper, open net and he misses! Oh, what a chance for Irwin! It was a great through ball from Matthew. LePage standing over the free kick. Two in the wall. In he comes. Right foot swinging. Bouncing in the area. And Kratz here at the back post. Couldn't steer it back on goal. Irwin running at the defence, through the right, hits the byline, will cut it back. Athew back to goal, tees it up, Ramsey! Oh, and it's been deflected wide. Kulkaloglu with a good sliding challenge. Kratzia on the ball, being hurried here. Box Hill still pressing up. And the heights being made to... Retreat all the way back to the keeper, Sarich. Now looking up, more pressing from Box Hill, and again putting the pressure on in midfield, and it's been turned over, and now they've got a chance. Ramsey playing it to a few. Central position, sliding through. Here's the chance, and flashing wide of the left post. What a chance for Peters, and Box Hill are so close to the opener. Valadin and Mariki, the two, over the free kick. Heights are going to put three in the wall. It's some way out, but Avondale really taking this as a serious threat. Here it comes. Mariki to hit low and sliding through, held by Sarich. Strano to take the long throw. In it comes. High to the area. Headed away by a few. Taken down and Georgievsky volleys it. And that one is onto the roof. Mariki over the free kick. And they're going to construct a set piece here, Box Hill. Second half, starting much the same way as the first. Box Hill on top. In it comes, left foot, high, and a header. Flashes across the face. And rising unmarked was Kokolakis. So here's the corner. It's going to be Mariki again. High, near post, slides through the area and then missed at the back post. What a great chance for Villarden. <laughs> Passing out of the back line, Box Hill. No, they're going to retreat to left back. To a bit of a hole here and a poor turnover. Here's a chance for Burakan Koja. And he runs to the right sideline, cutting it across the area. Hrako is there in a one on two, and he squeezes in a left footed goal. Box Hill, after all the chances, have gone behind, and it's Avondale Heights one, Box Hill United nil. Alexei Hrako scores again. He just can't be stopped.
High ball. Head is up. And now falls Athew in possession. Being pushed one on two. And he took exception there. And a bit of handbags are breaking out here. Referee's got to step in and take control. And it looks as though the yellow card's out of the pocket. And it's going to be Kenny Athew in trouble here. It wasn't the most violent shove, but it seemed like a bit of an unnecessary reaction. And now the referee is getting into an extended dialogue. Krapko coming over for his two, Bob, and a number of Avondale players are trying to calm the situation down. Box Hill protesting the booking, and the referee has just got to pull the players into line and get things restarted here because everyone's having a word, and in fact it's the Avondale player who gets the card. Chances running out for Box Hill. Can they manufacture something here for Mariki to take? Left foot swings it in and it's held straight at Sarich. And that should do it for Avondale Heights. Only seconds remaining now. Well, there's still time for the goal kick. High and long into the attacking half. A few the target brings it down. Irwin takes it in stride, feeds it through, and it's all Avondale Heights. A few loads up. His shot is charged down. Still, perhaps, an opportunity, and now ball is taken away and cleared high. That'll be it. Avondale wins again, and Box Hill must be wondering how on earth this result happened. Very important win today. Uh, what, what did you put it down to? I think a bit of character and result. Um, you know, it was very tight. KG's hit both, both sides, you know, try and play. Um, Box Hill's, you know, obviously one of the sides that, you know, probably one of the best footballing sides in, in the league. Um, and uh, probably one of the sides that were hotly tipped to, to win the league at the, at the, start, of the start of the year. Um, but all credit to them, they do play a really good good brand of football and, um, you know, obviously for us, the boys had good character, good resolve, good fight, good spirit and it's a game of opportunities, you know, you know who takes them, you know, probably ends up laughing at the end of the day, so, you know, Alex took his chance and, uh, you know, we won the other victors. You know. What must be a pretty tough result to take for you personally, it's been symptomatic of your last month of football, I guess, really. <laughs> at, least what do you, a, at least a month, Chris. What, what do you put it down to? Confidence in front of goals. Simple. Your link-up play is probably yeah. one of the best in the league, yeah. obviously. Yeah, look, we, we we set out to play a particular way, and the one thing that lets us down is that when we miss guilt edge chances, we drop our heads, and we tend to then fall into the trap of playing the same style of football as the opposition, which is a little bit disappointing, because there are indicators, uh, but... We'll continue, we continue because we, it's the only way we know now. So. It's uh, eight on the bounce now for you. Uh, what, do you what do you work on to sort of keep that high sort of level of performance up for us this season? Well, look, we're definitely not going to be complacent. Um, obviously, you know, we set the bar sort of quite high. Um, so it's up to us as coaches um, to, to maintain that. And um, there's obviously you know, a few things that we can continually work on to, to improve, and um, we'll continue to do that. Um, the transfer window sort of opens up soon and um, you know we've got a couple of boys sort of going away and, you know, to holidays and whatever so we'll look to bring some young boys in and develop and, and you know grow the club so um, from that aspect there's always yeah, as the job of a, a coach is he's never done so uh, until around 26 so we've got heaps of work to do. Does that come with maturity? Uh, with a fairly young squad you must obviously be building every week into something you know obviously some, a final product what do you sort of put that put that change in sh shift in mentality down to? Yeah look it, it comes down to maturity, it comes down to confidence um, and there's also, you've got to give credit to the opposition as well because they they see that we don't put them away and it gives them encouragement and gives them hope and they come and they fight and they get a result and well done to Avondale for doing that.